Hey guys, welcome to my Halloween vlog video. I'm actually super excited for this because I'm not gonna lie, we did go a bit over the top for Halloween. And I'm living for my little pumpkin jumper. First of all, I just wanna talk about my Halloween video, Shadows and Water. It was definitely inspired by a film called Suspiria, which was released in 1977 and is basically just witchy vibes. Also, obviously it takes things from Pagan and Wiccan and Alchemy. It was really great to work with that in a film context and have some actual representation on the screen as something that I do look into in my everyday life. So working with it on film and just taking bits and pieces, not actually representing a full religion, but taking bits and pieces and being able to show them in an aesthetic way was really fun. I'm just filming the next sort of bit of my horror film. I'm filming these out of sequence, by the way, because I'm writing the out of sequence. Writing's actually very difficult. My friend uh, Emily is definitely helping me with the plot on that one. So sitting down and writing a film is definitely something that it, it's a task. <laughs> so my window box, my lovely window box, has this absolutely stunning um, tree next to it um which gets bathed in this orange light as you can see like oh it's just fucking stunning because this this is such a fire vibe um this is why i'm filming it here i'm hoping once you guys see this this video will actually be out so i'm not ruining anything this is just actually um an alchemy book that i bought for my work funnily enough and then we've got my um worship bowl um in paganism a lot of things with black bowls are used in particular with water which is why I've gone for this bowl um, something to burn something in because obviously you know that's like a very ritualistic um, thing the jug to you know have that kind of pouring action in the scene I think is important and then we've got like my little elements here I'm really trying to use the color red in this film um, as you can tell from my nails wow that's not in focus but okay um, because um, I want red to be symbolic in the film of when the character is going through a pivotal moment. We're playing around with lighting over here, don't mind the mess. Um, <laughs> but I've got this lamp here because obviously I'm filming this at night time. This is kind of the level of darkness that we've got going on here. So I've got this um, light here, which is the one that I use <laughs> for my kind of... Um, my close-up shots of my face it goes to a red phase and basically I, I film when it's in the red phase and then obviously you can see here like this is still looks like you haven't got any light in the room even though we've got a light over here because it's facing the other way like it's giving you enough light to still maintain the backlit element of the light outside but lighting me enough in the scene to give this sort of eerie feel. I'm so happy to be making stuff that connects with my soul and is where I want to go professionally and is pushing the boundaries of what I can film and how I film and edit and things like that. So I'm really thankful for the response and if you want to check it out I'll put it in the link below. So to Halloween week, as I said we went so over the top. So we decorated the entire house we had like different areas. We had a bar area, which we decided to make a little laboratory. Um, crafted all the little bottles and things and test tube wrap for shots and stuff, and it was so fun. And then we had my window area, which was just a really aesthetic pumpkin kind of candle-y vibe. And that was, I could literally see that in a shop front. I was genuinely amazed. And then we were just sort of hanging everything and I'm not gonna lie, it did take about five million times to hang things up. And we did end up putting a few nails in the wall. Thank you so much for watching my little Halloween vlog. I had so much fun making it. Thank you so much for following me on my journey. It's been amazing so far. I'm actually surprised at how much I'm just loving coming back and making content that really vibes with me and who I am now and exploring just what I can do with film. So thank you so much and bye.